everyone, and welcome to Learning Island and Second Life. Learning Island is where you will learn the basics of operating your avatar. After going through the Learning Island tutorial, you'll be able to toggle and communicate in your local chat window, move around using the arrow keys, W, A, S, and D keys, fly, and run. Learning Island is where all new avatars begin in Second Life. When you first log on, you may see a lot of new people that appear as clouds, then they become solid, or what we call resed, just like you see in front of you. Now, all new avatars are born on Learning Island, and some of them will have no experience in Second Life, while others have quite a bit. For now, you want to ignore these avatars and concentrate on yourself as you learn your way around. Now first, let's talk about the local chat window. Because more than likely, sometimes when you're on Learning Island, people will want to communicate using the nearby chat. Let me start by talking about local chat. Local chat is a way that residents, residents meaning the people that are in Second Life, communicate with each other locally, people around us. The way you access local chat is by clicking on this button right here. In local chat, you'll be able to see what other residents are saying. Now, to type back, you can type in this window here or in this bar here. In order to toggle local chat, you can either hit the X or you can hit the nearby chat button. Notice that there's a pop-up that shows up when people are talking in local chat. Now, I'm going to talk about how to move around. Moving around in Second Life is one of the hardest things to master, so please be very patient and take your time. It's sort of like riding a bike. First, shut off your local chat and click outside that window or simply close it. If your cursor is in the chat window, you're not going to be able to move. Now, the first thing you want to do is hit the up arrow. The up arrow is going to move your avatar forward. The back arrow is going to move your avatar back. The right arrow does what's called camming. It helps you see the things around you. So if I click my right arrow, notice I can see all the things that are around my avatar. To move in those directions, like if I want to move towards the ship, I hit the forward button. The left arrow will do the same thing and cams in the opposite direction. Again, if I want to move in that direction, I hit the forward arrow. Now, you can also move in world using the W, A, S, and D on your keyboard. In order to do that, you have to set it up in your viewer. This entire screen is called your Second Life Viewer. Click Avatar in the toolbar, and then go down to Preferences and click that. Then go to the General tab, which is the tab at the very top. Notice you have a lot of different options and preferences. You can go back to those later, but right now what we want to do is focus on this top right window here. Your default is going to say starts local chat, and what you want to do is change it to affects movement. Hit apply, then the OK button to turn that window off. Now when I hit the W on my keyboard, it's going to act and behave very similarly to the forward button. D cams right, A cams left, and S goes backwards. The next things you want to look at is the E, the C, and the F keys. When I press and hold down the E key, I can jump. But if I hold it down, I'll actually start flying. Holding down the E key longer, 
makes me fly higher. In order to get down, I press the C key. C key brings me down, and once I hit the ground, I stop flying. So use the F key to start and stop flying, which toggles the situation. Once you're comfortable with walking around a little, and as you can see, there's a dog next to me learning how to move around too, um, start noticing the arrows that are on the island. Also, the pop-ups that show up on your screen. The pop-up says your mission is to leave the island. Follow the signal, follow the signs, and press the left arrow and right arrow to look around. Press the up arrow and down arrow to walk. So here, I'm going to follow the arrows using a combination of my forward key or my up arrow key and my right arrow key. You can also use your W key and your D key or your A key. Again, it may take a little bit of practice, but as you notice, learning island is all about learning how to move your avatar around. So please take your time. And enjoy the view. So here, when we cross a bridge, you'll notice there's going to be another pop-up. When I click on it, it says hold the page up key to fly and hold the page down key to land. Again, this is another way of being able to fly in Second Life. You'll find that there's actually several different ways to do things, and testing, exploring, and experiencing are really the best ways to feel comfortable with whatever is, is feeling good for you. I personally like using the E key and the C key myself. Now, as we continue on your journey, notice the bridge is out, so we're going to have to fly. Again, I can use page up. I can use the E key by pressing and holding it. I can also use the F key. Now that I'm in the air, I need to use either the up arrow or the W key to move forward and cross this bridge. And then, to stop flying, I can either hit the F key again, the C key, the page down key, or the stop flying button. And we continue on our journey. And there's another pop-up. This says quickly press the up arrow twice to run. Now, again, this is one of those places where I actually don't run very well with the double up arrow. Instead, I use a toggle function by hitting Control R. Hitting Control R will turn the run function off or on. Now watch. If I hit my up arrow, I'm walking. If I hit my down arrow, I go backwards. If I hit Control R to turn the run on, notice my avatar now runs. So let's cross the bridge under the waterfall and get to the other side. I'm going to shut off my run now by hitting Control R again. And now my avatar is walking. Now the pop-up says walk through the portal to continue your adventure. So as we go up the stairs, you'll notice a Second Life portal. This portal will actually take you to a place called Social Island, which is very loud and has nothing to do with education. So what I want you to do is actually go back to the document, Module 1, Outline and Checklist, Intro to Second Life. When you open that in your Word document, you're going to want to scroll down 
to the week one activities. Near the bottom of the first page, you're going to find a web address called a slurl. This happens after you're done with, the, with getting to the portal. You want to click on that slurl and what it'll do is open a map from your browser. And you'll notice there's a little button that says visit this location. Click on that button and it'll launch Second Life if you haven't launched it already or if you're in world it'll cause a window to open. That window is a teleport window and that'll take you to the classroom. So hit teleport and you will now land in the education classroom where you can test out other parts of your viewer in the next video. That's all for now. Thank you.